So I'm going to show you today the materials that I use for my online classes and it's all the materials, like all of them that I use. Uh, they come in a box like this. This is from Cass Art, so I've ordered the bulk of them from Cass Art because I just think they're really good. Um, I've been using them for years and I got this particular thing from Amazon. So I'll show you. I'm really excited. You know when you get something in the post and you think, oh, it's like Christmas. Um, so I'm going to open them. So you'll see you'll see as I open them what they are and what they do but if you're going to do an online class with me I'd recommend to get these particular materials because they're just amazing um so they're cheaper from Amazon so just ripping <laughs> how cool is this so that's what they look like obviously you can get others but that's what they roughly look like they are so good I'm going to just open the tin just to show you and there's something so awesome about, oh, <laughs> look at that. Ah, oh, just makes me so happy. Now, you know they're watercolour because obviously it's going to say watercolour on it. But normally, it depends what the brand is, but normally if you look at them, uh, I don't know if you can see, you might not be able to home in on there. Let's have a look. Can you see that? We probably can't see it, but it's, um. It's like a, um, it's like a brush, a watercolour brush. I'm just laughing to myself because at the moment I can't think straight. Right, then, ta -da! This is the fun bit. I mean, it was fun anyway, wasn't it? So I'm just gonna take this off. I mean, it is literally like Christmas when you order materials, because you just think, oh! Because it comes like that, which is really cool because it's like really packed in nicely without any waste really. I mean, there's bubble wrap, but we kind of need that. So this is the chalk pasta, which I'll obviously undo. You got the delivery note. These are my brushes and the oil pastels. And this is the re I mean, there's hundred sheets in this. So this could last you literally more than a year. So it's really good. It's watercolour paper. So that's the box, obviously. I might use some of it. I might recycle some of it. This is the paint. So first of all, let's undo this. This is almost A3, which is like two A4 sizes. And you can use this because it's so thick. I'll just undo the... Okay. So it's got the plastic film on it. But if you can see, there is loads of sheets. There are loads of sheets. And you can take them out and just, you can actually have them as a separate page to give to people because I've done commissions on these paper, uh, piece of paper because they're so thick, it's 240 GMS and there's a hundred sheets. So when you're doing a lesson with me, you'd only use probably half of that in a year, which I think is a really good value because it's so thick and it can take watercolor because it's watercolor paper. It's literally made for watercolor that you can put chalk, oil, anything. So there's that. Then my favorite. It's got, everything's in bubble wrap at the moment, but I quite like it because you can re reuse these. You can reuse the, um, the pouches for something. Um, so these are the chalk pastels. So you can get them from Amazon as well, but I quite like getting them from this company. So you take that off. Okay, I'm gonna get quite excited now. You open it up, you got the, the polystyrene thing, the foam. Then you've got that and look at those. That would last you quite a while. So they're chalk pastels. Looks like there's one missing, but it's not. So these are chalk pastels, beautiful colors. There's 64. So we'll end up probably using all the colors for projects. And it's so nice to just use when you want. It doesn't have to be just for my online lesson. So those are the chalk. Then you've got, I'll put the prices and the links below. 
So if you want to buy it, these are just brilliant. These are just absolutely fantastic. They look like they're for adults, but they're for children as well, I would say, because it's so nice to use a good quality brush. I think these are about £16.50, but they last for a long time. And you, the flat headed brushes I find are really, really helpful. And obviously you've got the pointy ones, they're brilliant. So those are my brushes, I might take them out just because it's like, it's like Christmas and you've got whoop, Valentine's Day soon. So it's almost like my Valentine's present to myself. <laughs> so you take them out from there. They're sticky. I don't know if you can see, but they're all sticky there. So you just have to peel that off, which is pretty obvious, but just in case. And then just sort of, so they can work, you just gotta squish them. Then there they are. There's my brushes. Now it's my oil pastels. These oil pastels, I've never ever, I mean, obviously you get super expensive ones, but these are, I'd say these are just be a lot better than the cheaper version. Um, and they work like a dream. So these are my oil pastel. How lovely are they? And the good thing about these is, I think they're about 10 pounds. And obviously you can get some for like 150 or whatever, but then the ones that are 2.99, normally they're the ones that can't blend. So you'll find that if you're not using the right materials, I would say what I've recommended is average, average budget, but they're super good quality. And if you use the good quality, it just means that it's a joy. It's a joy to create art. It's a bit like, how can you make a cake if you don't have the right flour, if that makes sense? So if you've got the right materials, obviously it's helpful. I'm not sponsored by them, so they're just my personal take on it because I've been using them for years and they're just brilliant. They have great effects, awesome finish, um, and they're just really brilliant. So I'm going to use them now, so let's go. Oh, one thing, totally forgot. I mean, I bought a paint set just because I wanted to show you the type of paint I use. It's tiny. Look how small that is. But you don't really need to buy all the colours. All you need, really, I would say, is white, black, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, primary colours. So you don't really need a green in there. But it's always helpful, isn't it? And these, these, but there's no black in there. Hi, everyone. So welcome back. So I'm going to show you how, where, why I use chalks. Because chalks are the best, I think, for me to use on a YouTube video because they're not too, they don't take too long and they look brilliant. This is what I've done in chalk. I'll give you a variety of. So the octopus was done in chalk. Really nice blending. It's great because you can get two colours and you can blend them together. Really nice effect. I'll show you. If you see some of my videos, you can obviously. See, that one, it works really nicely on um, landscape, especially if it's Turner inspired. Uh, this one, so really, really easy for children, or anyone really, to go round the outside, colour the inside, and then just get your one finger and blend over the top. If you're not sure how to do that, just have a look at one of my videos. That was the jungle one, all chalk. But what I love about that, and it's upside down, <laughs> what I love about that is these, I can like blend down to make it look like the vines are just dripping. They're obviously not dripping, but they're trailing down and it's a really nice effect. So that's done in chalk. They're all done in the chalks I bought. Obviously not that particular packet. That was, characters are amazing to do in chalk. You could literally draw the character Colour it in paint and then go over it in chalk just to make all of the eyes and everything pronounced. It looks really fantastic actually in chalk. It needs to be big though, otherwise it's quite hard. And then I love making things look like glass or a certain surface, and that's really good to use chalk for that. You can use any material obviously, but I like chalk. So I want to show you, so that was these chalks I used. I won't really put them, I won't use them now because there's kind of no point to show. Well, I could show you, couldn't I? I'll just quickly show you a vaguely easy effect. So, say for example, I draw 
a cube, which is pretty simple, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be drawing it with a dark around the edge, and then I'll get a lighter colour. Oh, they're just such a pleasure to use when they're new. And then you just blend with one finger. This is obviously a very simple shape. But can you see? It's just it, it really looks quite nice. I don't know if I've shown you to its full entirety, to be honest. Because if I was gonna, I'd probably I'd probably colour in around the edges darker. But it's quite tricky because I can't even see what I'm doing at this point. But can you see? <laughs> it kind of has a really lovely effect. So that's your chalk pastels. Definitely get those if you can. Then you've got your watercolour joyful pencils. So watercolour takes a long time, I think, but I love using them and I love using them because if you're going to do a detailed picture, it's nice to sort of, it always makes it look nice. Um, how do I describe it? So this is watercolour and if we tried to do that in chalk, it would probably be quite messy. So if you can see all the detail that we put in, it just works really well with the watercolours. The way I use watercolour, love watercolour, let's just say take a bit longer. Let's do a square again. It's not really a square, is it? Oof. With watercolour, oh, they're just such a joy to use. You could do red and then orange inside. Where's my brush? I'm gonna get one of my brushes and it's gonna drip this is probably which I quite like the drip effect but maybe not maybe not on my legs because I just realized the chalk's gone all over my legs so that's roughly the effect you'll get of, of uh, watercolor obviously it would look slightly different depending on how you put it on but because they're such good quality they're so bright and they look great can't believe I've just covered myself in chalk pastel. <laughs> right, this is another picture we did. So can you see how it's really helpful to have those detailed bits of the wing with the watercolour? That's really, really good. If you're not sure how to use them, just look at one of my videos and I'll show you. Okay, so that's your watercolour. Then my favourite, well, it's not my favourite, but I love the overall look once I've done it. So these are my paints. That I use and you can create anything with paint can't you that's my Banksy one I did a water wash and then a nice black black's an amazing color to use if you just put a light background so that's one of them that's a landscape so they're just they're just pictures I've done in my online adult class super super easy but it's really helpful when you do it in paint. You could even go over with chalk, you can go over watercolour. You can't quite see it properly in this light. There we are, it's better. And then you've got this one. This one was done in, it's a Paul Cezanne style. It's done in paint, but I've gone over some of it in chalk, and it's so nice when you do that. And then this one's really lovely. I did this one of a client, Michelle. It was really awesome absolutely thoroughly enjoyed that and her example of it her final one looks amazing but that was done in acrylic paint so this is acrylic paint and i would suggest these brushes for sure they're just amazing and as i say you're going to run out of white normally white and yellow so maybe get a big white and a big yellow i'll put the link underneath then ta -da! the oil pastels if you get the right oil pastels, if you get these, your work just it just blends beautifully. I'll show you what I mean. So those are the pastels. And then I've got that one was like a Salvador Dali one. I did black paint, but can you see the pastels? That blue is beautiful. And then I painted over with the black numbers with black paint, but that's all yellow oil pastel. It's really nice to do oil pastel and then if you have to go over things, do it with paint. But oil pastel, these oil pastels are tremendous. They're so good. This was done in oil pastel. I 
don't know if you can see, I might try and do it now. Oh, I'll give it a go anyway. Right, if you see the bird, I wanted to go round the bird. Oh, it's just like butter. It's like a really nice feeling putting something on a page that's really nice, so they're, they're good quality. And then you smudge, and then you can't smudge the cheap ones. They just don't blend very well. Well, it looks the same as it did before, but I'm just trying to show you the blending. It's a really nice way of doing it. And then last of all, I just wanted to show you the mixed media. So, I mean, that was just basic black marker with paint. And I used um, the straw to do the blowout effect. I'm showing you because it's quite nice to show you examples of mixed media pieces. This one that worked really well, it was for a child's class, I think. It might have been an, an adult child and a teen's class. And I did them all at different stages. So that was paint as a, as a block. So I basically blocked in all of it in paint and then I went over with chalk. Chalk is fantastic to go over things. So once you've got your kit, it's like it would last you, I would say more than a year, depending on how much you do art. But this paper, oh, this paper is so cool. So I might show you. I'll show you the, oh, shall I show you? I probably can't really tell because it's just paper, but it has a lovely effect on it. Like if I was to do, what shall I do for you? I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll do an orange upside down. That'll be fun. I don't really want to waste a sheet of paper, but it's not waste, is it? If you can see what I'm doing. So an orange, this is oil pastel. So I'm doing dark and light wherever the light goes. So I'd color it like that, very basic. <laughs> now the paper's quite bobbly. So it's not smooth, it's got a bit of a texture to it, which is really nice, only a slight texture. I mean, can you see with the good quality oil pastels that I'm rubbing? <laughs> it's not quite an orange because I'm doing it upside down. But really what I want to try and show you is how well it smudges on the paper. Can you see, like it's got, hang on, it's got such a good look about it. And it's such a pleasure to use, like if you love art, you want to use something that you really enjoy. Can you see that? Whereas if you did it on A4 thin paper, G uh, 80 GSM, and really cheap oil pastels, it would, just wouldn't look the same. So definitely recommend, I recommend these, these materials. My skin there is burnt amber. So I'm hoping that's helped you understand what materials to get for the lessons and just what materials you might need. And um, yeah start creating some art i'll put all the links below like i said like subscribe and share and let me know how you get on with all your pieces send me in your artwork because i absolutely love seeing it yeah have a great day and i'll see you soon bye